Hey guys, Greg here. Um, just a quick video to show you guys how to make rolling credits in DaVinci Resolve. Right, so um, I'm editing a film that I made a little over a year ago. Well, I directed it and, pro and I produced it. One of my friends, Daniel Franklin, was the editor. Now, since then, we've both became way better filmmakers. So I thought I'd give it a little update. And now, as I'm updating the rolling credits, I figured it's something I could share with yourselves. So let's jump into it. So, as you can see over here in the effects library, there's a section called titles. Click title, then go to scroll. Drag, click left on scroll, drag it onto your timeline like so. Now, next you will highlight the little text box that says title here. And then you just type in your text. So I would say directed by Greg Mitchell. Right. Now, if I wanted to center it, there's the alignment tool here for centering. If I want to change the font right here, where it says font, I can change the font. Okay. So, um, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Change it to whatever I want. Maybe gothic, because it's a little bit of a hotter one. Okay, right. So I've go back to here for my text. Push return, produced by Greg Mitchell. And then, let's see. I'm just typing in quickly, I'll fix it there. Editor, so I can quickly show you, Daniel Franklin. Right, now, let's say for example, if I wanted the text to go really slow. What I would do is I would come here and I would click on the edge of the text box and I would drag it out, you see? And by dragging it out, the credits go more slowly. See, slower, shorter the box, the quicker the credits, way too quick, yeah. So that was actually quite a good speed there, right? It's looking a little janky, but once I render it, it'll be fine. And that's pretty much it. So in your inspector tab, type in your text, then drag it here for how long you want it to last for. And that's everything. Pretty simple, eh? Pretty easy. And uh, yeah, next video, I'll show you how to stabilize your footage because they've moved the stabilize button. Funnily enough, they've moved the stabilize button to make it easier, but it's in a, in a total opposite place of where it previously was. So if you knew where it was before, it's more difficult to find. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that next. That's it. Um, see you next week.